Drug addiction is becoming a major problem in the United States. One common misconception about drug addiction is that it only affects the user's life. However, the notion that they aren't harming anyone else except themselves is an excuse that many drug users use to justify their addiction. Drug addiction is not a one-person problem. It has a cascading effect on the lives of those around them. It is a social issue that normalizes drug use and has an impact on individuals and their families. At first glance, it may appear that drug addiction only affects the person who is using it. However, because addiction is a destructive issue that can harm the community, family, and individual, it is extremely rare that other people are unaffected. Neglecting responsibilities as a result of drugs can have a negative impact on a person's career, children's education, or family financial security. Their influence can also extend beyond the immediate family. Friends or neighbors who rely on their presence or companionship may suffer as a result of their absence. Addiction has a variety of short-term and long-term health consequences. The most permanent effect of drug addiction is death, which becomes more likely as tolerance increases, leading to overdose. There is a clear link between crime and drug addiction, which is largely due to the illegal status of commonly abused drugs. It is not only illegal to transport many of these drugs, but the lower inhibition of those under the influence can encourage them to commit other crimes. The types of crime that an individual may commit while on drugs are numerous and dependent on a number of sub-factors, but drug users are more likely to commit crime than non-users. Another way that drug influence people to commit crimes is through petty theft in order to obtain drugs and satisfy their cravings when they are desperate. There are two types of people, those who believe that drug addiction treatment should be available to all as well as those who believe that drug addiction should not be treated as a criminal offense.
those who become addicted seek out the sensation on a regular basis. However, opiate use can impair the brain's ability to produce its own painkillers and the feel-good chemical dopamine over time. The addict becomes unable to feel good without the assistance of opioid drugs. Addiction is also rarely a standalone health problem. Many people who struggle with addiction also suffer from a mental illness. When this happens, people require dual diagnosis treatment. This type of treatment for co-occurring disorders addresses both issues at the same time. Dual diagnosis reduces the risk of relapse while also improving an individual's physical and mental health. Drug use can aggravate or mask symptoms, making treatment difficult until a complete and correct diagnosis is obtained. Long-term drug use can also cause a variety of health issues ranging from malnutrition to digestive disorder to brain damage. Aside from what is going on inside the sufferer's body and mind, there are negative social ramifications to contend with. A person under the influence of drugs or alcohol may act in ways that alienate parents and friends in some cases. Someone who is feeding an addiction may engage in antisocial behavior to obtain money to continue using drugs. You may find someone requesting loans or cash gifts or selling priceless family heirlooms. There are numerous indicators that a person can be suffering from addiction. People in this situation almost never limit their theft to family members. He or she may also steal cash, checks from your wallet, or drugs from your medicine cabinet at times. If 
they steal from others, they may face arrest and imprisonment. Because drug possession and sale are both illegal, it is not uncommon for a loved one suffering from addiction to have a criminal record. All of these negative consequences can spread to other aspects of your family members' lives. America's homeless crisis has all the makings of a major crisis.
It's difficult to say with certainty, but on any given night, more than 580,000 people were homeless in the United States, with an estimated of 226,000 of them sleeping outside, in cars, or in abandoned buildings.